dramatic developments after an Indiana nursing home employee is charged in a resident's death. I'm Sharif Lowe. And thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. For the first time, she is speaking out. The charges have now been dismissed, but she is not in the clear just yet. Allison Montoya has the interview now from Lawrenceburg. On Monday, Kathy Hess was supposed to be right here at the Dearborn County Courthouse for her pretrial, but instead the charges against her were dropped. Tonight, I sat down with her as she described what she claims happened the day Dion Scalf died. I lost it, Allison. I just bawled my eyes out. It was like, oh my goodness. Kathy Hess of Bright, Indiana, was facing several charges of abuse, which led to the death of Woodland Hills Care Center resident, 77 year old Dion Scalf, in February. A witness told detectives Hess violently pulled Scalf from a walker, breaking her vertebra. Hess says Scalf's heart stopped while using the restroom, and she never pulled her from a walker. I actually. Put, got my arms under her arms, but at no time was it forcefully to the blunt, what they're saying is a blunt um, force trauma on her back. No, I never did that. Hess's attorney Bob Eubank said scalp's vertebra and ribs broke during CPR. The case got off to a wrong foot, and I think that some of the evidence has been distorted. We're prepared to meet every single accusation. As for dropping the charges, it's very difficult to prepare for a case when you're getting discovery very late in the game. Prosecutor Aaron Negengard said he plans on refiling the charges against Hess or presenting the case to a grand jury. As I see the case still, I believe the evidence still points to Ms. Hess's guilt. Now, Hess tells me she's been given a chance to take a plea bargain three different times and says she will never take one as she continues to maintain her innocence. From the Dearborn County Courthouse in Lawrenceburg, I'm Allison Montoya, WLWT News 5. Hess was a nurse for the Woodland Hills Care Center in Lawrenceburg for 28 years. Her trial was set for November.